part D. So all of the working for parts A, B and C are here. Now for part D it says, hence, we want to use what we just found, show that X has two modes, M1 and M2. So mode will be the most common outcome. Now this has to do with part C because we've essentially got the probability of some uh, some score of n and divided by uh, the previous number. Now if, if this divided by this is equal to 1, that means that they, the probabilities of the uh, of some score of n and the one before it will be the same because if there's a probability over a probability and it's 1, it's, it's the same decimal top and bottom. So that would be therefore the mode. So what we want to first do is we want to try and solve when this simplified equation, which was this, when does this equal 1? So solve 0 0.9 n minus 1 over n minus 3, when does that equal 1? And therefore we'll get two probabilities, that's essentially having the two probabilities top and bottom being the same. Okay, so if I times the n minus 3 up, I get 0 0.9 n minus 1 equals n minus 3. I can expand and simplify, so 0 0.9 n minus 0 0.9 equals n minus 3. I can move the 0 0.9 over as a negative, so 0 0.1 n will equal 2.1 once I add 3. So therefore, n equals, uh, times both by 10, 21. Okay, so what we want to then go and, and check is when this equation here, 0 0.9 n minus 1 over n minus 3, if this here is less than 1, let's think about what, what happens here. If this here is less than 1, that means that the, prob the, the numerator would be smaller than the denominator. So the number, the probability of such value of n would be less than the one before it. So when this happens is when n is, if we do the same same working out as up here, but just with a less, less than sign, we'd get when n is greater than 21. And if we use the other possibility where this is greater than one, which would mean the probability of such value would be greater than the one before it. This is when n is less than 21. So uh, what, what we can see here is that, that x has two modes. The modes would occur uh, when n equals 21. So we're going to have two modes. Uh, this occurs when n is 21. So when n is 21, uh, therefore, let's think about the probability would be 21 on top and 20 on the bottom, and they will be the same because if this was 21, this is 21, so we're going to get the probability of 21, probability of 20, they would be equal to 1. So the two modes are M1, which is 20, and M2, which is 21. Okay, that's the answer to part, actually that answers both part D1 and 2, because in part 2 it says state the values of uh, M1 and M2. Okay, that's the answer to part D.